I'm going to review main effect and simple effect one more time. It is a very common uh, stumbling block for students, so let me give it one more shot, okay? So in this pretend study, we're going to try to figure out what, what causes the most weight loss. Okay, so that's going to be our DV, right? We're going to measure all these people about how much weight loss they had over a six-month period, something like that. So, right, where the what's being measured is the DV. Our first independent variable is going to be diet plan. And remember, this because this is an ANOVA, our IVs always have to be categorical variables, nominal variables, something that puts the subjects into specific groups. So our first IV is diet plan. We will label it IV1. And it has three levels or three subgroups. So a third of the people are going to be on a low sugar diet, a third are going to be a low fat diet, and a third are going to be on the Atkins diet. And I believe that's the protein where you just eat meat and cheese and all the good stuff. So that is IV number one. And they're picked at random, okay? So random assignment is always important. So that in itself, we can run a one-way ANOVA, okay? So the if there was a significant difference somewhere between these diet plans, that would be called the main effect of the diet plan or the main effect of IV1, okay? But of course, we're going to add another IV. Let's call it exercise. So this is IV2. This too has three separate groups, right? And uh, the first group, this first level, is the exercise of walking, the second one is yoga, and the third one is swimming, okay? So we have IV1 with three levels, IV2 with three levels. So the main effect is, is there a significant difference between the exercise group? Bam, bam, bam. That's the main effect, okay? Is there a main effect of the diet plan? Bam, bam, bam. So there's two possible main effects with this. Every IV has its own effect. So if you got two IVs, there's two possible main effects, okay? So the main effect of exercise, the main effect of diet plan. But now we're gonna start pretending we have data, okay? So the top is the IV for diet plan, right? So here's the different, different diet plans and here's the different exercises going this way. So the DV goes into cells. So this is how much, on average, everybody, let's say the low-fat yoga group, right where it is, this, this number in this cell would be the average weight loss between everybody that was in the low-fat diet and taking yoga, okay? This one would be the mean weight of everybody on the low-sugar diet who also does swimming, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So these are the DVs in the cells. I'm just going to make up numbers. So here's the low-sugar group, right, with their walking, their yoga, and their swimming. Here's the low-fat group with their walking, yoga, and swimming. And there's the Atkins group. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so there's the, there's the pretend data. Get some working room here. So when we first run an ANOVA, it's going to do what we call an overall ANOVA. Uh, I believe in SPSS it says for the corrected model. But that's an overall no ANOVA, okay? And we call that an omnibus F, right? If it's significant, there, and there'll be a significant difference in there somewhere, normally. So the first thing is you're going to get an omnibus F, or not. If you don't get an omnibus F, you can stop right there, okay? There's not going to be, you don't have to worry about anything. But, so that's the overall F, regardless of interaction or anything. So you're also going to get a, a, an F value, right? of the first IV. That's going to be the main effect of the first IV. That's your F score. You're also going to get an F for the second IV. That's the main effect of the exercise IV, okay? And here comes the money. Money, 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 money. You're also going to get an F score of the interaction between the first IV and the second IV. That little asterisk means this is the interaction term between diet and exercise. In other words, was one level of the diet plan working with one level of the exercise more effective at losing weight 
than, than the rest of the stuff there, the rest of the levels. So that's what interaction is. It means that one level of an IV is working together with another specific level of the other IV in such a way that its, it's, it's effect on the DV is acting almost like a, a new variable. Okay, so, so omnibus F first. Okay, if you get an omnibus F, you have the options of looking at the, the main effect and the interaction. Okay, so the main effect, again, is just the IV1, just the diet plan. Was there significant difference just between the diet plans? Was there a significant difference between the exercises? You know, and then was there a significant interaction between the two? So if the interaction was not significant, in other words, your F was a little tiny F and the p-value was a big p-value, and then there was no significant interaction, then you're supposed to go ahead and look at the main effects of the IVs. Okay, so the main effects. You're just looking at the F scores or the significance values of the diet plan and the exercise. Okay, that's if there is no, right, let me say that again. If there is no significant interaction, look at the main effects. Okay, so what was the significance value for the IV1? What was the significance value for the IV2? Which you look up by this F score, okay? But if the interaction was significant, you do not look at the main effects of IV. Because if, if they're interacting in such a way, how do you know which variable is doing what? You don't know. That's why we do not look at the main effects when there is a significant interaction between the variables. Okay? This is what we call looking at the simple effects. So if there's significant interaction, you're going to look at the simple effects of the IVs. And what that means is you're simply going to pick one level of one IV and compare it to all three levels of the other IV. So here's an example. I just want to look at the low fat group on the diet plan. And then I would rerun my ANOVA just using this column of data. Okay. I would see if there's a significant difference between the walking, yoga, and swimming just at this level for low fat. Or I could have done just the Atkins. Okay, So this is a simple effect. We're looking at the simple effect of diet plan on exercise. Or the simple effect of low sugar against all the exercises. And it can go the other way. right? I just want to look at the simple effect of swimming across all the diet plans. And again, when we say look at, that means run another ANOVA. Or I could just look at walking, right? The simple effect of walking across all three diet plans. So you, you got a feel for that? I hope that helps, okay? So remember, when there's significant inter interaction, you have to switch to the simple effects of the IV, which means it's you have to look at one level of one IV across all the other levels of the other IV. When there is no significant interaction between the IVs, you simply look at the main effects. And I hope that helped. MGZ, out.